All right, let's get started setting up two-factor authentication for our Minecraft server. So what we're going to do is go to our night server. And then we are going to go to plugin. So as you can see, we don't have our two-factor authentication plugin. And the two-factor authentication plugin we are going to be using is Pinprompt. It's $3 on Spigot. However, it is completely worth it. It allows you to add a pin code that operators and other staff have to put in before they can do anything. So let's download this, throw it into the plugins folder, and start up the server. Okay, the server is now up and running. So let's join the server with our Minecraft. As you can see, it is asking us to set up a new pin. So one, two, four, five. This will happen automatically to anyone who has uh, pinpoint pin prompt force or if you're an operator on a server. Alrighty, now let's take a look at its configuration. So if we go to plugins, pin prompt and go to config.yml, let's open it up. You can change if you'll get notified what the headset is, how much time a player has before they are kicked from the server from not entering their pin, how many pin attempts they have, and then we have sessions. Sessions allow you to, if a player joins from the same IP within 24 hours, it will just let them through their pin. So they don't have to constantly keep entering their pin. You can change all the messages in any sound that you want. Alrighty. So now that we have pin prompt, let's show sessions and actions. So when we join, we'll be asking for our pin, which as we said, one, two, four, five. And now we have a session created. So if we log back in, we just log in seamlessly without having to go through the pinpoint process and we can get started right back into playing. This is what we used for two-factor authentication on my server and I hope it will help you in yours. I will see you all later. Have a good day.